Hello fellow mutants, welcome back to another video, and this video we're going to talk about how, or why, the 2007 Ninja Turtle movie deserves more credit. And, I have to agree, it deserves more credit, um, good story, good animation, technically it's the first animated Ninja Turtle movie, like, don't try to let people say, oh, Mutant Mayhem! Ninja Turtles to Mutant Mayhem is the first, um, animated Ninja Turtle movie. No. Because those people either doesn't know, hasn't heard of the 07 Ninja Turtle movie, or it's just lying to you. But, regardless, before there was Mutant Mayhem, there was the Ninja Turtle movie, last, literally called TMNT, which I would have loved to have seen a sequel to. Anyways, let's give this a read. Even though... There are um, there are among one of the most popular media franchise of all time. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles saga has always had a dig difficult transitioning difficulty transitioning to the big screen. It makes sense that Paramount Plus we want to bring Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael, and Michelangelo to the movie theater to become the studio signature superhero saga with the upcoming Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Mino Mayhem, despite complaints of superhero fatigue. I think it's more like so, like, bad writing fatigue than superhero fatigue. And by, I, by the time of this recording, Mino Mayhem has yet to come out. Because I'm recording this on July 27th. I mean, sorry, July 31st. So by the time I'm recording this, Mino Mayhem is, has still yet, yet to even come out. By the time this video comes it's out. It will it will be like about a week since it's been out. Anyways. The characters, the stories, and actions of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comics and graphic novels look great when brought to life when st with stunning animation. But this has sadly mostly been seen on the small screen. When 90, 1990's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles film and a sequel, Sequel of the Ooze, are both fun, nostalgic, Favorites. The goofy costumes and popular cultural references in to 90s hits means they have not aged very well. Comparatively, the next film, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, was a complete disaster. As were the two films ex executive, executive produced by Michael Bay. Now, I gotta say, I did enjoy my, the Michael Bay Turtles, but I'll admit they're... They had nothing on the uh, Russell Otto and Ninja Turtles films. And the third film, yeah, it's the worst film of the trilogy. But it's still, like, even though it's the worst film of the trilogy, the weakest, it's still pretty entertaining. Like, yeah, you can definitely tell as the, the 90s trilogy kept going from the original film to the Secret of the Ooze, Secret of the Ooze to the third movie. That it was progressively more um, goofy, but nevertheless, I feel like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles three was still, regardless of how like good or bad the like it was compared to the other two, it still was entertaining. Definitely more entertaining than like some movies nowadays. Anyways, less like it's definitely more entertaining than Indiana Jones and the Isle of Destiny. Anyways. The, um, however, w the one success in the 21st century that the Turtles have had on the big screen has been the severely underrated animated film, feature film, Team NT, which hit theaters in 2007. There has been other Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles animated films, but Turtles Forever was a television film. Batman vs. Super uh, Batman vs. the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was released directly to video and FOD surfaces. And the rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the movie, was on Netflix and with no theatrical debut. So, I have to say, between those three films, the Batman vs. the Ninja Turtles was the best. Then comes Turtles Forever. Then comes, um, Rise of the Ninja Turtles movie. Um... Turtles Forever was is a movie where like was said to be like the old three turtles series finale, 
And it had like the old three turtles and the nineteen eighties turtles team up to face off the old three strutter. Um Batman versus the Ninja Turtles had Batman and the Ninja Turtles team up. Right? Strider and the Ninja Turtles team up to face off the League of Assassins, Foot Clan, Strider, and the Rizal Ghoul. And the rise of the Ninja Turtle movie had the Turtles facing Krang. A Krang invasion, essentially. So there's that. Anyways, here's why TMNT is the most underrated theatrical film within the franchise. First off is a change of style. At the time of the original 1990 film's release, computer generation imagery had not yet developed in a way that it was would have been more properly served as a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles franchise. Since Jurassic Park had not yet hit theaters, the notion that characters created with the CGI could interact with live action actors was not yet plausible, and there was no chance that the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles could have worked as a live action film. I have to, dis I have to respectfully disagree. Maybe not this, like, maybe this story wouldn't, like, the, the 2007 Ninja Turtle movie was telling. Probably wouldn't have translated well in live action, sure. But I think a uh, live action Ninja Turtle movie could have worked. I think so. I Maybe mean, this one was animated, but still. If they talk about this, like... This movie that we're talking about, then no. I have to agree, it's better that, that it was told animated than live action. Anyways. Even in 2007, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles would have seemed like a odd choice of Saga to reboot in live action, considering the franchise's success on the small screen. I don't know. I think people are, like, underestimating um, the Ninja Turtles in live action. Because the 90s film was a success. The... And it was really good. It's the best Ninja Turtle film that we got so far. Seek of the Ooze it's the second best Ninja Turtles film that we got so far. Tied with the 2007 Ninja Turtles film, right? One was... The two Ninja Turtles movies are in tied in second place. One animated, one live action. I think... With the right person in charge, leading and creating the story and leading this film... Like leading on Ninja Turtle film, right? That a live action Ninja Turtle movie could be the best thing people has seen since Avengers Endgame. In terms of comic book movies, I I take that back since Guardians of the Galaxy, which was Volume Three, which was really good. I like to say I have to say Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three was a really good movie. So. A live action Ninja Turtle movie in under the right hands can be the best comic book adaptation. My opinion. Since Guardians 3. Let's keep moving. As a result, the 2007 got uh film got a uh, got to use all the FNs of 3D animation that it had developed in the time since Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3 had been released. In the time since, Pixar has found success with Toy Story films and their other critically acclaimed original um, projects, such as Monster Inc., Finding Nemo, The Incredibles, Cars, and A Book's Life. Honestly, I have a somewhat of a soft spot for Finding Nemo because my cat was Nemo. I had a cat recently passed away named Nemo, so I have a soft spot for Finding Nemo, to be honest, because of that. Well, it briefly seemed that they would be the only studio to master the craft, DreamWorks Animation proved that it had what it took to compete with Shrek. When Shrek won the first Academy Award for Best Animated Features since the release 
its release in 2001. This indicated that it was the right time for a computer-generated Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle film. The finished result um, is the most stylized Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle film at the time. Hard use of shadows gave the film a more mature film than its live-action predecessors, which is an immersive and inverse of how most people think of animated films. The detail of New York gave the film a strong visual look, and the computer animation allowed the turtles to move and perform martial arts like act fan martial arts like fans had only ever dreamed of, and is one of the most underrated act, uh, action movies of the 2000s. And I have to agree. I have to agree. Even though I kind of like criticized them about like an intro, uh, a live action intro film couldn't have worked. Was outstanding by that statement, but I have to agree. Uh, what I think what they're trying to get at with this was just like because of the animation, the turtles were able to do more like badass um, moves at that time than a live action show where they can do like. Flip up in the air like four feet in the air and kick a foot soldier in the ass. And if that's what they're saying, okay, I can give that to you. So, continuing the story. Even though the animation style is radically different from anything else, the franchise that had been released after that point in time, TMNT actually continued the events of the original trilogy in a compelling way. Even though they had worked together to defeat the Shredder, the former brothers had grown apart and gone their separate ways. It was a slight darker storyline to approach, and in many ways, TMNT stripped as a legacy sequel, legacy sequel to the original films, and it actually marketed the great, it actually marked the great setup for a sequel. And in fact, there was originally going to be a sequel focused on the 13-part comic book saga, City at War. However, when Paramount and Nickelodeon acquired the rights to the property in 2009, the sequel was scrapped in favor of the life action reboot. It unfortunate, it's unfortunate because the 2014 reboot, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and its 2016 sequel, Out of the Shadows, were not well regarded entries that turned the beloved characters into monstrous, monstrous CGI cre uh, creatures, creatures, carcasses, car, essentially monsters, and featured too much adult humor to enjoy by intended audience of children. I and I have to admit. Too, cause like the 2007 Ninja Turtle movie always been like I've always feel like it's not technically a sequel to the original trilogy, but it is. It's a loose sequel. But then like Turtles Forever, when they like the Shredder show the two turtle teams, all the versions of the turtles, we saw the life act the 90s turtles like the life action turtles. And the 2007 movie Turtles in that slide as two different entities was makes it even more confusing. Like, are they in the same thing? Like the same turtles? Or are they different? If you get my meaning, which is why I'm saying like it would be cool. Like, sure, it, like the old like the old seven turtles might have has some like might have some similarities to the old like to the 90s trilogy. Especially at the end where we saw those homages to the 90s trilogy. But up until someone says, like, f from the Nintendo team, yeah, the 07 movie is a continuation of the 90s trilogy. I'm going to act like it's two separate versions of the Turtles, because it's... That's how I have always interpreted it as. Anyways... Interesting characters' interpretations. The characters are 
sufficiently developed and reached interesting conclusions by the time the films end, starting the team off as distant as at the beginning not only allows for a strong character arc but also highlights their personalities separate from one another while also showing how they are stronger together. Leonardo is one is Leonardo is made more the traditional stern leader he is typically known in the comics. While Raphael uh cool but rude attitude is amped up to be more to be a more violent vigilante. Contrasting these two brothers' personality, personalities really develops their relationships and culminates in a fight fans have wanted to see for years. R meanwhile, Donatello is shown as the most mature while Michelangelo is allowed to be the comic relief he works best at. TMNT in many ways is way is a is a better mix of the classic eighties cartoons with the with the underground comics the characters originated from even more so than the nineties film. TMNT is the hot is a high mark in the franchise and even though the recent the reaction to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem might eclipse it. TMNT should not be forgotten. And I don't think like. Mew and Mayhem will eclipse. TMNT. Um. I think. TMNT will always like. Be remembered. Um. Sure it's not. Talked about as much as it should. But I think it will always be remembered. Whenever I. Whenever it's my time to be a dad. I am making my kids watch. The, the O Seven Turtles, cause the O Seven Turtles deserves way more love. They were really good. I'm not only saying that, cause my favorite voice actor plays Leonardo, but I do agree that the O Seven Turtles deserves way more love than it deserves. Than way more love than than it gets. And I will fight for that. The 2007 Ninja Turtle movie is amongst the best. It's in the top three for sure of the best Ninja Turtles movie, in my personal opinion. And for argument's sake, I'm going to kind of leave Batman versus the Ninja Turtles out of it because that's kind of a Batman film as well. Um. And if you guys have watched the original, like the 1990s film, I highly recommend, or the trilogy as I say, I highly recommend watching the 07 Ninja Turtles show, uh, movie. It's a good movie, great character development, beautiful animation, and... They do have callbacks towards the um, 90s trilogy, especially towards the end. So, and even if you guys haven't watched the 90s films, which I don't know why you, as an intro fan, you wouldn't watch the 90s films. I, but regardless, I do recommend watching the 2007 film if you guys haven't done so already. But with that said, what do you beautiful people have to say? Let me know in the comment section down below. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Be kind of one other. I will talk to you fellow mutants later.